I think everyone is creative in some way and everyone has a little place where they have original ideas that no one else has. But I think it's the process of finding that and Walden has really been the right community for me to come to terms with that because I've actually learned what it means to be creative. Every year I learn something completely different about myself. I learn something new about myself as a composer every year. I learn something new as a person every year. And I always try to take the positive energy that I love about Walden and apply it to everyday life. As soon as I step on campus and like walk inside my room and put my stuff down and I'm like playing music in my dorm and I see my friends walk in, it's like the first thing I say to Noah is like an inside joke from last year. I realize why I came back and I realize that I already know that these five weeks are going by too fast even though it's been a few minutes that I've been there. What struck me when I first arrived is the sense of community that's here is the friendships, the bonds. You see um, the faculty and the staff and the students all kind of relating on this, this common denominator. The people here are extraordinary people and they're people that I want to keep in touch with for the rest of my life. Like just such like genuinely nice people are um, here at Walden and I love surrounding myself in like such positive energy and creativity. Have courage my soul. The ability to establish your own voice in any sort of like media or sense, whether it's like establish your voice in your relationships among your friends or establish your voice in like an English paper, like it all comes from learning how to be creative and like that's something that at Walden is definitely, definitely taught really well. I study theory year round, but it's not musicianship. At Walden, the musicianship course, which is really the cornerstone of what we do here, I, I, I really feel like you can't ever fully complete it because there's, there's always something new to discover in music. You always, as you're creating something, you discover new things about music. I think that's what happens in our musicianship classes is that, you know, somebody's a fantastic pianist, but maybe they haven't developed their ear, or maybe there's a... Um, composer who has never really had much keyboard experience. In each case, the musicianship curriculum is sort of drawing out other musical aspects from the students, all with the goal of helping these people become more creative individuals. <laughs> What we've discovered is that students will master things once they create with them. So if, if you're just learning about um, triads that might be interesting, it might, might, you might find them on the piano, you might be able to sing them, but in order to really be able to know them, you need to be able to use them. And so um, this is why composition is a major part of what we do here. Because, uh, because it's so much a part of our musicianship program. People often say, well, how, you know, how do you teach composition? Can you teach people to write music? And the fact of the matter is, is that you can teach composition, and we do each year. There's so much music training in the world that focuses on people's ability to play the notes on the page, and there's not enough training that's focused on how do I draw out the voice of the individual how do I help this person's ideas get to a, a piece of paper or to a performance? And so our composition classes are really focused on that. Is that like an okay note to write for? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. One of the most challenging things as a composer is to present, is to take the music that is in your mind and present it to the world because what if it's not good enough? What we found here is that through a process of dialogue, that it turns out that people hear beautiful things in all different kinds of music. So a composer's forum is a concert-like environment where students can share music that they have created. And on this forum, all of the music, with the exception of one piece that you're going to hear, has been created in the past week at the Walden School. Even in the title of the Composers Forum is a kind of, a, again, a metaphor sort of for what we're up to at Walden School, which is uh, always an emphasis of process over product. After 
each piece, we will uh, perhaps say a few things ourselves, but we are also going to open up for comments from the audience. So this is a very uh, supportive and collaborative environment to discuss each composer's music while they come and join us and sit in what we affectionately call hot seat. <laughs> strings and winds and percussion, which is something we associate with it, but also because of the density of your writing. You had a book that literally was pages, like multiple pages, of you modulating using augmented six chords, which was something we were learning in musicianship class at the same time you were writing this. And as I was listening, I recognized exactly when you started doing that, but it didn't sound like a musicianship drill. You orchestrated it so perfectly with instruments around it, it was it sounded like amazing that you were using like this really cool modulation technique we learned in class and putting it into your piece and orchestrating around it that it sounded really, really, really amazing. So good job. It's really cool. What's really apparent about the students at Walden is that they're encouraged to be um, individuals both as composers, which is what I see, but also presumably as in whatever they do musically, in fact, in whatever they do in life. And you just don't find that anywhere else where it would be okay for there to be an experimental electronic piece of music right next to a um, neo-baroque piano trio next to a folk song, next to a choral piece. Some people ask, oh, do you do that on purpose? And I said, well, you know, I think actually it's part of the purpose of the Walden School to have that manifest, but it's not something that we have to decide for the students because we bring 50 or 60 different young souls to the Walden School who are themselves creative and want to make their own music. I I think that the fact that everyone has their own like style or their own voice in their compositions is a huge part of Walden. And, like, the fact is that none of us composes the same way. Like, I don't think that I can't name two people who compose the same kind of music. I feel like I play a, a wider variety of styles of music mm. than I do in the rest of the year. Some of the students write in a jazz style, some write in a pop style, some write in a really experimental style, which uses maybe not the keyboard or the piano at all, but I'm playing inside the piano. So that like omnivorous kind of you know, I will try everything and I will commit myself and try to make this the best piece that it can be right. um, for the students and for, for everybody listening. Um, that's a really rewarding experience. Um, working with the, the Walden School players are like, just pretty much amazing. Having this group of really crack professional players here allows the students to hear their work in the best possible light and I think that allows them to make better decisions going forward about what really worked, what didn't really work. This idea that the composer is over here and the performer is over here, it's not really good for anybody um, because composers desperately need performers who are interested in playing their music and bringing it to life. And performers desperately need composers to write things that are new and interesting and to sort of push the bounds of what is possible with instruments. And I think this residency is a way for Walden in some small way to participate in the sort of changing of that. After my first festival piece rehearsal, I saw that I knew there was a soccer game at 2.30, so I came out to play soccer, and I saw Chris come out and start playing too, and so I, was, so I could like tell like he wasn't just kind of going through the motions, like he was actually like having fun and getting involved with the students, and that was like really cool to see someone who literally plays cello for a profession, has the time and like actually wants to hang out with the students and spend time with them outside of just the 30 minutes that he's allotted with them to rehearse the piece. It's a kind of utopia. It's like what we all imagine, like, you know, we would like life to be like, right. which is, you know, you're in a beautiful place. Everyone's supportive right. of each other. Um, everybody approaches what they're doing from a different angle, and that's all accepted. Um, someone cooks for you. Yes. <laughs> so, and we always say, wow, if we had have had this musical experience when we were their age, we'd be ten times the musicians we are today. We're so lucky to be able to, for us to know about this camp and to be able to come here. I wish there was more Walden schools in the world, so lots of other people could experience what we're experiencing here.
by focusing on creativity and being creative for a five-week period, and, and that's just not that's not just composing. That's being creative through all aspects of their lives here. Um, you know, playing group group jokes on each other, um, doing open mic skits, um, singing a pop song that they wrote. All these things that we do um, that are creative um, allow students to become themselves. And what I see very clearly over a five-week process is students go from being one person to blossoming into uh, the person that they want to be. Oh,